Now, the Japanese government is now mulling the extension of the state of emergency as the medical system in the country's second largest city of Osaka nears collapse amid a rise in COVID-19 cases. Japan's western region accounts for a third of the country's total coronavirus death toll, even though it constitutes just 7% of its population. The speed at which Osaka's healthcare system was overwhelmed underscores the challenges of hosting the Olympics in about just two months' time. The problem has been further aggravated by the fact that only half of Japan's medical staff have been vaccinated. Medics are now warning against hosting this sports event. And now we on correspondent Phoebe Omoroso is joining us live from Tokyo for more on this story. Phoebe, thank you so much for joining us. Japan is mulling extending current state of emergency as Tokyo reported about 535 new COVID-19 cases. What is the situation on ground right now? So suddenly there is a concern that the cases still remain high. Tokyo's uh, seven-day average has actually fallen. Over a week ago, it was over 800 new cases a day. And uh, there's fallen to around 650. And as you said there, there are 500 new cases a day. Where the issue stands is that there is still a serious um, a number of people with serious COVID-19 symptoms. And there simply aren't enough hospital beds in order to treat them. And there's a more widespread shortage of medical staff. In the nationwide over the weekend on Saturday, we saw the numbers of those with serious symptoms hit a fresh record high of 1,300. So that is why the government is considering potentially extending these emergency measures until June the 20th. That's the date that is currently being floated. No official decision on that as yet. But uh, Okinawa, for example, was added to the state of emergency mm. on Friday, and they will be under a state of emergency until June the 20th. All right, now Japan has given a go-ahead to the AstraZeneca and Moderna jabs. This is in addition to the Pfizer that the country was already using to inoculate the people. Do you think this decision is enough to pace up the vaccination drive or is it too little too late considering the Olympics are slated to begin in July? So Japan has now um, obtained enough vaccines to cover its entire eligible population. With the Moderna vaccine, it's rolling that out in the large-scale vaccination centers in Tokyo and Osaka. Where the bottleneck lies is very much in obta um, ob uh, obtaining, attaining the number of medical staff. There is a shortage of nurses and doctors, and that was a shortage before the pandemic. So the, that's why the self-defense forces are staffing these large centers. And the government is working on regulatory changes. It has now approved dentists to administer these vaccines, and it's now considering adding pharmacists to the list. All right. Now, as I mentioned earlier, medics are still advising against holding the Olympics. Is, are there any talks of cancellation in sight? No, and that was a quite a strong statement that we heard from the IOC Coordination Commission on Friday. They wrapped up a three-day meeting, and IOC John Coates said that there is um, ap that the games would absolutely be held under a state of emergency, mm. and that has uh, added to the general public outcry here. Uh, an, an association of medical doctors, mm. sent, uh, that represents six thousand doctors or so, mm. sent a letter to the government calling on its cancellation. There are huge concerns as to whether it can be held safely. The IOC is pointing to the fact that they are offering vaccines to athletes um, mm. and they are going to be bringing additional medical workers to try and support uh, the staff on the ground. All and right. they said that this will make the Olympic Village one of the safest places in Japan. All right, Phoebe, thank you so much for joining us with all those details. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.